News of bin Laden's death was especially meaningful to those with loved ones in the Twin Towers when they came down on 9-11. News Channel 5's Ann Rubin is live downtown with reaction from two local families. Ann? Well, they say the news comes with a mix of emotions, and they say it brings back a lot of vivid memories. Well, it brings back a lot, you know. The Nelsons have waited 10 years for this, but along with news of Osama bin Laden's death comes the inevitable images of the World Trade Center towers. Their son, David Nelson, was on the 92nd floor of Tower 1 when it came down. For years afterwards, I would think about what happened every day. Yesterday brought it all back. The Nelsons say the news caught them by surprise. And while they call this justice, they say someone suggested a stronger word that might apply too. Maybe that is the answer, that it was revenge, though. They for what he did to us or what he did to our son. I was shocked because I didn't expect it, of course, but I guess I could say I was happy. <laughs> for many, the president's announcement Sunday night was cause for much rejoicing. Among them, Jason Jensen. He survived 9-11 and was on the 61st floor of Tower 2 when the first plane hit. Ten years, it's a very long time, and it, it yes, I wish it would have been a much sooner event, but better late than never. He says for him, the death of bin Laden brings closure, and he hopes this sends a message about America to terrorists. I hope that we continue forward, um, making sure that everybody understands that you can run, but you can't hide. Both families say they wonder what this will mean for the 9-11 remembrance ceremonies this year, whether it will change the tone on this 10th anniversary. Live downtown, Ann Rubin, News Channel 5.